Hello, Monsters of Anhian, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 5 of my Mother Ostankia campaign, where last time we had the poll, and the poll was, should we teleport ourselves over to here and beat up the locals, or alternatively, should we go and kill Malekith? And uh, I've got to be honest, a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, but we are going to teleport ourselves, that one, that one, to... The haunted forest. The call of Be like, hey, Spirit fuck you. That's right. We're just gonna we're just gonna punch everyone. I don't know if we need to punch these guys, but fuck it, we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna loot and occupy. Oh, we did get plague. Did we get plague? What plague is it? Okay, that's not as plagues go. That could be worse. That could be worse. I guess actually plague is quite useful if you do have... I mean, you don't replenish it. It's kind of the main issue, isn't it? But, yeah, okay. Uh, that's not that useful. I'm just going to tick you. Just going to tick you. Okay, did we... I guess we already fought demons, didn't we? What do we... Okay, what do we need to kill? So, ogres. Right, so there's some ogres around here somewhere. Must be. Ogres... Yep, yeah, gold, right, we'll, we'll go and beat up gold tooth then. Good, uh, we'll do that. Sorted. Uh, what else? We've got tomb kings. Well, there's tomb kings over to the west somewhere, so we can go and do them as well. Uh, we've got uh, lizard men, but we might be able to get a treaty with them, so that might be fine. Chaos dwarves, there's definitely chaos dwarves down here, so we can kill them. Warriors of Chaos or Norska, we can head north and see if we can find any. Uh, high elves, now we could get a military alliance, but there's also Prince Imeric over here, so we could just go and kick the shit out of him. Dwarves, again, dwarves fairly close. Uh, Grand Cathay, that's fairly close as well. Empire, they're quite far away. Greenskins, there might be some greenskins in the north and finally Bretonia. Okay, so, you know, we've got some options here, haven't we? And to be honest, I'm kind of thinking we don't really want to hold on to any of this. It's just a case of we're just going to do as much damage as possible. Roma, it's just like a horde, a horde of, gra it's, it's Janet and Rita rolling around Parking their car wherever the fuck they like because they're old and they don't give a shit anymore. I've kind of reached that point at the grand old age of 42, I think I am. I might be 41. I might be 43. I genuinely can't remember. You get to a certain point, you just stop caring, to be honest. It's, it's just it's just numbers, isn't it? Doesn't really matter. Um, so we are going to upgrade some of this shenanigans. Now, Hag Hall, yes, we definitely want defences here. Malekith is starting to roam around, so that could potentially be a problem. Telsian is our only army. Um, I could give you the Frozen Heart of Winter. We could do that. These guys are just worst ambushers, to be honest. What do you know? You know, you've got an okay, you've got an ice witch. We, you know what? We could get a um. Get a granny, couldn't we? Disfiguring scar. Uh, honorable, strong, sanguine, blind. Huh. That is. I don't quite understand why you've got. Hmm. Um. Okay. It's interesting. I mean, it's weird, but it's interesting. I've got some mods running now, so that's probably why some of these are a little bit... Uh, I'm tempted to go just for... Oh, let's just go for Z Z Zoria. You come over here. No, indeed. Okay, I'm going to give you this guy. And I'm going to bring you back here so that we can recruit some more of them because they're just pretty legit and we probably want defenses all the way along here but we can't afford it so we won't worry too much about that uh we're gonna save our monies yes we are we've used all of the trinkets i need to remember to do that every single turn which is kind of a ball ache but never mind do we have anything here i'm gonna go with that one because i don't know i i don't really i'm, I'm probably just going to leave this settlement to its own devices we'll just like move on the idea being that we're just gonna try and get as many trinkets as possible. That's that's the objective. I quite like the idea of if we if we do go north and kill Malekith, or if we find Malekith, just transporting him to Cathay and leaving him there. Um, I don't know why, but that seems quite funny to me. Mm. 
Like, genuinely, just joyfully insane. Uh, perfect. Right, we are going this way. Because there's ogre in them thy hills. Although I also need to go and beat up Cathay, don't I? Yeah. Um, have we met Cathay? I mean, I might be able to make friends with Cathay. You never know. Oh, mind you, Cathay is down here, aren't they? I forget that. Can I, can I get you down here? Um. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Elf One's defender. Okay, we well, can get an agreement with you. you can, ooh. Very well. Does that? Do we need a military alliance to get the? Nope, we just get the trinket. Perfect. Okay, so that's. Oh yeah, I don't want to do. No, I want to save my pennies, don't I? Save the money. So what do we get? 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 Elf. Where's the elf? Where's elf bits? Elf bits. There's the elf bits. Spell resistance. Spell resistance doesn't go negative though, does it? Unlike flame resistance, is the only resistance that goes negative. Doesn't tell you that, but it is. So um. I, you know what? I really like the ones that just deal damage to people. That just seems pretty legit. And I'm kind of thick. So what do we want? A purple and a yellow. Purple and yellow, like you. Because we can make two of those. And then we can make one of these. Because that is then going to use the maximum amount of a spirit essence. So how much more do we need? We need two... Oh, I'm tempted just to, like, spend Spirit Essence. I mean, I could... I could really, like, dick over Kugath by just reducing corruption all over the place. If I abandon this... 47. Okay, there's no point. I may as well let it rebel. And uh, then Gorst is back, causing, you know, maximum mayhem and... Uh, and devastation across the nation. My kid's getting into Pokemon, which is uh, great because it means I get to sing the um, the Pokemon theme tune again. Although he does keep telling me to be quiet, so I mean, I guess everyone's a critic, aren't they? You little shit! I have you know. I have you know. I've got an amazing singing voice. I know all the words. So fuck you. God damn it. We have no need of niceties. You Hello. Trade agreement. Yes, please. Wild hunt begin. I could go and beat up Cathay, or I could just go and beat... You know what? I'm just going to go and fight the ogres. Fuck it. Let's fight everyone. Ogres, I need your... What, what bits do I need from an ogre? Hang on. I need to check what bits I need from an ogre. Uh, I need a well gnawed bone, apparently. Give me your bone! You little shits. Right, what do we have here? That just deals damage to people, which I quite like the idea of. Because uh, I think those guys could potentially be kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to slap them on them. And they're no longer a problem. What about a settlement garrison? Yeah, nah, that should be fine. Do I want any... I mean, I could... What does Unburdened Step? Devastating Flanker. Hmm, okay, let's go and put that on you. Let's put that on the bats, and... See, the problem is, a lot of these are basically the same thing. I guess I can tell by the icon, effectively. Um, what does that do? Oh, I'm a piercing weapon damage. I should probably use some of these. No, actually... Let's do that on you. Let's let's go with something like that. Ah, the the swimming bear of the Southlands. Um, glorious in its own way, sort of. <laughs> so fucking weird. Why do you throw a bear? Why not, like, screaming souls or something? I don't know, literally anything. Why a bear? Why does it swim so weird? Kind of, kind of like a sexy bear. S sexy swimming. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, the important thing is... 
These ogres are about to get fucked. Yep, those gorgeous had a really bad time. In goes the incarnate. And we're keeping the ogres at arm's reach, which means we can fill them with crossbow bolts. Yeah, baby. You have to be careful, though, because if, if we don't... If we... If we um, the, the crossbow bolts are somewhat indiscriminate. My god, look at the stats on these guys. 55 melee attack, 61 melee defense, 35 weapon strength with armor piercing. You wouldn't even want to charge them. They're terrifying. Okay, the bats are getting in amongst those Noblar trappers. You can just see how much damage the ogres are taking. It's ludicrous. They're such big targets. I mean, I'm really sorry, guys, but I, I really, really wanted your bones. I've got to debone you. I think more factions should have ways of traveling around the map because it makes it so interesting. Like, it's, it's, you know, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Look at this guy trying to run away. Will he? Ooh, no, that doesn't look good. Oh, no, that's extreme acupuncture. He might do. He might do. Much he's, got, he's, got, he's got 244 health. He's getting away. He's going to get away. Good job, buddy. Especially on one leg. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to loot and occupy because it gives me a little hidey hole. Oh, an obsidian blade. If only we had a melee character. Oh no, we do have Telsian. Telsian, you've got a, you've got a blades. Hang on. Nope. There you are. Telsian can get the obsidian blades, and I mean we can merge these. Can you? Oh, Star Iron Ring. Ah, oh, we can do better. Oh, we've got another obsidian blade. All right. And merge those two. Scroll of leeching. That is garbage. Okay, we can't... No, never mind. We'll fuse these two. And these two. And... Do I dare? F no, I don't want to fuse... The, the obsidian blades are too good. Expert charge. Okay, you can have expert charge defense. I'd like you to have slightly better armor. But... You know, we're rolling with what we've got at the moment. Um, I could give you that, I guess. Crown of Command. Kind of meh. This is kind of meh, but I'd give it to you anyway. Do we have... I mean, everyone should have a student because they're just good. Veteran warriors are trash, so I will make them kiss. They don't do anything for me. Ritual Enforcers are generally okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, the Steel Standard is pretty good. I wonder if I give that to you. And then I can put that on... On Thingy-Majig. On the old... Uh... Ooh. Oh, that's trash. It's garbage. Okay, we can give you the Forbidden Rods. And we can merge some of these bits. What do we get? A trickster shards. Eh. Eh. Okay. It's, it's really weird that some factions just don't have men. It, it feels like if you were going... Oh, Shield of Sacrifice is... Not... The worst? Okay, we've got Ogre Trinkets. Lovely. Ogre Trinkets. So, we can... Where is it, that one? That does actually give more missile strength. So I would like that to be a buff. Exploding on death. Probably not the win we think it is. Effect intensity increase with each unit in range. So you get perfect vigor, that 
also gives you perfect vigor. You get more, but you get more range as well. I mean, that... That seems pretty, pretty legit. Uh, Bears Bulwark is garbage. I guess I'll grab that one. All about spending as much, much spirit essence as possible to unlock the next one. We still need 240 more. I am... I'm only consuming 25 a turn. I mean, it's not too bad. How much do we need for the next one? A thousand. Right. That is going to take quite a while. <laughs> um, we can always use these ones as well, of course. So uh, we, we have some options. Spirits, I see. We have some options. Right, who do we want to kill next? So we want uh, Tomb Kings. We could go for, we could go for the Tomb Kings. Uh, we need to go Chaos Ball. We need to head north. We need to move north. We could maybe have a chat well, with you. Do not squander the Dragon Prince's time. I Shut will up. Not Basically, I'm going to need to traipse over your land, mate. So either you can give me that agreement or you can fuck off. Who are you at war with? Clan Moors? Uh, I mean, I could declare war on Clan Moors for you. This will be masterful. Good. Okay, that will hopefully get you on side. Because I need to beat up some Chaos Dwarves. I need to beat up some Chaos Dwarves. I need to beat up some Orcs as well. So... To, to be honest... Here's my hot take. I think the Purification Chant is not the right hex to start with. Give the player Jinx to land, because that suddenly opens up the entire map. Right, I feel like it's a game changer, and it feels weird that they wait until, you know, half halfway into, to, to, to then go, okay, now, now you can. Now you can. And I, I get, I, I wouldn't mind that, but it doesn't really sort of explain... I, I, if I had a major issue for this this DLC, it, well, one, it's the bugs, because there's just fucking tons of things for some reason. I don't know why. The other thing I would have a... is that nothing seems to be, like, explained very well. Because I've had numerous people not realise this is the power button. Like, I don't... because it's not... Like, you, you look at that and you think, oh, that's just bit, a bit of UI. Unless you hover over it and go, oh, that's what that does. It's just, it's just weird. It's just a bit weird. Um, and I, I think the story as well, like, why is Austin Yanka over in Nagarond? No reason. Why is, why is... <laughs> down in Lustria, and a few people have gone, oh, it's the little, like, PDF narrative thing they released beforehand, which I'm gonna be honest, I haven't read, haven't had time. If that is the case, fuck that! It would take literally 20 minutes for them to put some literal narrative into, li li like, just, just the opening quest. Just, oh, we've come here because blah, 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 fine, okay, I I'm, I'm okay with that. Just lumping you there and going, and I get on with it. Fuck off, no! It, oh, it's just, I... I love this game. I don't know what Creative Assembly... It feels like they just don't... It's like it's almost like they can't be asked, isn't it? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But it feels like they just can't be asked. It doesn't feel like there's any polish here. It's like they just banged it out and went, Ah, I'll probably do it. It's fine, do that. It doesn't feel like there's any polish. That's the problem. That's my problem. There's no polish. It feels very, very rough. And I, I feel like for a DLC where they've jacked up the price, wrong fucking idea! You want this thing to be as polished as... You want this thing to be as polished so you can see your fucking face in it. Right? At that at that point, you can put the price up and go, well, look at the quality product. We're putting out this lump of shit and then going, yeah, by the way, we put the price up. What do you expect? What do you expect people to do? Of course they're going to be pissed off. Is my right? And, I, you know, I think... In general, the amount of content they've put is is fine. But there's no polish, and there doesn't seem to be much thought gone into it. I mean, why didn't you give Kislev... Um, I mean, I, I guess the... I guess the chain... Because I guess Zinch does now have the... Do they have Chaos Warriors? I'm not entirely sure they do. Do they have, Chaos, do they have Exalted Lords? Question mark? 
but they, they do, they, I guess they do, I mean, if they've got Exalted Lords, and I genuinely can't remember, then that's fine, but otherwise, they need a melee character. Kislev, need a melee character. Cathay, need a melee character. I feel like if you're doing the Zinch, Cathay, Kislev expansion, maybe put the fucking melee lords in. Don't know why that needs to be said. Come on, guys! It's not that fucking hard! Anywho, do I just make this rebel? It's a little bit of, um, a little bit of Nurgle crap. I, get, I can't imagine Kugat's super happy about me, just like, just a bunch of old ladies rocking up and they're just blundering through his territory. Well, mind you, I blundered through his territory for one turn and then I blundered into, um, into Goldtooth's territory, so basically fucking them both over. Uh, no. Oh, wait, no, I've actually got the. Oh, um, I will unlock Ulrika. Ulrika, ka, 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 ka. Oh, there she is. I guess, I guess we could put, I mean, yeah. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Try the cheese. Hello, dearie. My, how you've grown. Um. Yeah, go on then. Okay, good o Hello, Ulrika. Ulrika Magdavar. Yes, okay. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of one of these guys, but... Okay, let us go and kill this camp. We're going to leave Scrap Tower behind. We're heading into the mountains. So, uh, this is this is a bit of like a cheeky... It might, well, I can't, I'm not sure if it is a cheeky... Cheeky spoiler, but uh, the next campaign is going to be Throg, and something I've noticed is that the Norskins don't even have like a replenish option after battle. Just, just not there. They've they've only got two options, no replenish. It's just like seriously, like literally everyone has a replenish option now. I think I think the polish thing works across the game. It feels like Immortal Empires just doesn't doesn't have the polish. I think that's my issue with it. I think it's just. You just kind of look at everything and you think, well, yeah, but why haven't you, you know, put some effort into fixing it? I, it genu it really does feel like they just can't be asked. They've moved on. That's it. They're doing something else now. It genuinely feels like that. Right, we're going to head north because Grimgore might be in them Var Hills. Also Chaos Dwarves, so we'll, we'll beat both of them up and uh, take all their shit. Yeah, I don't really care. Oh, I forgot the fucking trinkets. <sighs> fucking, fucking trinkets. Marker, I, uh, you know what? Sure. Because I don't know how Mazda Mundi's doing, but it looks like he's doing worse, so... I'm just going to be friends with everyone. Yeah, I'm not level with you. Not not too bothered about that. I'm going to have to take this, aren't I? I don't really want to. I mean, I'll get... Just sort of like... Just sort of meander through, can't I? Uh, we did like the, the rat grits, didn't we? I, I still don't understand the idea of putting it on a cooldown. I'm like, if, if you've got if you've got the spirit, just let us spend it. That's, that's my hot take. Just let us spend the fucking... Let us spend, let us spend the spirit. Let us, let us spend spirit. I don't... I genuinely don't think it's a massive, like, balance issue. I mean, compared to some of the massive balance issues in this fucking expansion, I don't think letting us make as many, many fucking trinkety things as we want, it's, it's not the one that's going to sort of, like, unbalance the fucking boat, is it? I don't... I don't see the problem. I don't really understand their thinking there. Mind you, I don't understand their thinking in a lot of places, so, um, you know... I haven't cursed you yet. Gilgalian, what's up, buddy? Defensive Alliance. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's all be friends. 
Finally got the, uh, finally got the high elves on side. What does this army look like? Oh, that looks a nasty army, doesn't it? Be a shame if it, like, I don't know, went somewhere. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need to... Empower? Empowered, that right. That one. The jungles of Chian. Yeah, go on, fuck off. <laughs> uh, I think that's quite funny. I genuinely think that's quite funny. I enjoy that. I mean, we can only do it every, like, five turns, but... Thoroughly enjoyable, nonetheless. Uh, don't need to knock everything down there. Don't need to knock everything. I mean, we're just, like, rolling through, aren't we? What's that, Sunny? So we torch the nearby buildings. I mean, that's hopefully, like, for, um, we, we kind of, like, removed this threat for them. So they now don't have anything to worry about. And plus, Malekith isn't going to replace that army because it's not fucking dead, is it? It's just the other side of the map. It's going to take him ages to get home. <laughs> uh, fun times. Fun times. Arabian farm. We don't have any little groms. Uh, more growth would not be the worst thing. Cash replenish rate for those guys. Maybe. Range, armor piercing, and reload time. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so our unit variety is two units at the moment, but to be honest, I don't really think I need anything else. I think we're fine. I think we're good. The petrified forest is making five. It's, it's almost fully upgraded. It's making 578 income. Fuck me. And that's with, that's with all the buildings as well. All the money-making buildings. Okay. Um, I haven't seen any Grimgore. I don't know if he's still alive, but we'll, we will, we'll go and have a look. We've got to find some Chaos Warriors to beat up. I just like the idea Archeon's like, ah, we will destroy the realms of... M Who's that? This old woman comes over, over the hill, just clocks him in the head with a walking stick and carries on after stealing his... What do we get off Chaos Warriors? Uh, no. Skull. We, we, we've nicked his Marauder Skull. Just walk over, clock a Marauder on the head, skin him, take his hat. Arcane all the time is like, what the fuck is going on? Who the fuck are you? I love only Keithless. My hate I give to you. Oh, he's not that bad. I think. I don't know. I haven't really checked. Can we reach you? We can. Lovely. I like this. Just sort of like, oh, there's, there's gold tooth. Okay, we'll kill you. They might go and defend Karakazor and like, oh my god, she's coming! Quick! Get her! Moobs. There's a guy called Moobs. Um, okay, cool. I guess. I'm not entirely sure how to take that. Uh, Master Mundi, you really need to, like, chill the fuck out, mate. You're, there's a lot of intensity there. A lot of big feelings, isn't there? Okay, money-wise, we're not doing too badly. We've got... Did I, did I forget to do the trinkets last turn as well? Every fucking time. Um... Let's do that. I mean, Telsian's in a pretty good position here. We've got four more turns until we can do that again. So it's, it's, we just have to remember that if we want to bring Ostankia back, I can't, I can't just go around blob like throwing throwing Malakith into the into Cathay. As funny as that is, I mean, it's a hoot, isn't it? Genuinely a lot of fun. Increased mobility, so we can... Uh, I think having having um, Ulrika here is actually very useful. Because she can kind of, like, help us... Oh, hello! You're helping, are you? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Whiff of Madness. Noodle Rampage, which is fine. That is... Okay, I'm going to put that on you. Hmm... 
I would genuinely like just all of you to die, to be honest. You get less charge bonus. I mean... I mean, leadership isn't going to do anything to you, though, is it? Because you don't, you're unbreakable. I mean... Okay, let's do something like that. Meanwhile, more armor, pi more missile damage and armor piercing. Yes, please. I'll take all of that. Uh, missile strength, that's fine. Grab that one. Dead Eye Sting. Yes, absolutely. Unburdened Step will give to you guys. Uh, do we have? I mean, I may as well spend these. I'm going to give that to, to these guys. Oh. That one. And then, yeah. Okay, let's go with that. I mean, it's, it, says, it says close victory with low casualties, but I just feel like, you know, spending some trinkets. It is a very pretty game. You have to give it that. Well, there's a lot of ogres arrayed against us. Obviously, there's not, you know, many ogres, but, you know, comparatively, considering there's so few ogres in each unit, there is a lot of ogres. Let's see, uh, oh, Grease is there, is taking damage until he hits 25%. Oof, rough. The big old fire baby there. Look, he's wearing a nappy. He's a big fire baby. That's what he is. Already some of the ogre units are trying to move against us. I think it's because they obviously didn't know where most of our units were. There's a Saber Tusk pack getting shredded by that concentrated missile fire. Ulrika keeping them at arm's length. Thank you very much, Ulrika. Really want to see those fingers. Meanwhile, the Sky Striders slowly advancing up the hill into incredible amounts of crossbow fire. Not I would, I would have moved a little bit faster if I were you guys, but, you know, I'm I'm not you, so there we go. They are charging up the hill. Some of them may may make it. You never know. You never know your luck. Uh, but most of them are, of course, going to die. The spider's pulling back because I didn't like being blobbed up here. I want to be able to surround enemy units that move against them. I'm not too worried about this army, to be honest. I think we should be fine. The units coming through the trees there. Uh, but they will be moving straight into our crossbow range. And of course, we've got uh, the things in the wood, as well as the incarnate, waiting for them. So we just unleash incredible amounts of uh, missile damage on the enemy. Let's have a look at numbers. Ooh! Yeah, they're not having a good time. Missile fire really is the bane of the Ogre Kingdoms, and uh, we're, we're packing it. We are packing a lot. Oh, there comes the bear. It disappears. Never mind. That sometimes happens with bears. Yeah, anim animation and model design and gra all, all very good. Into a Warhammer. It's, it's just the it's just the polish. It's the polish. It's just not a polished game. The spiders now having annihilated one unit of gorgers and now swooping around behind the enemy army. They are going to try and drop a flock of doom on us, but that's not really going to cause us too many issues. And we can then move in from behind. There comes a little rock fall there. And to mop up. Because uh, this is mopping up. There's not very much left, including Grisus, who has only just reached. He is so slow. Everyone's faster than him. He just gets left behind. And he's such a big target. I, d I, don't, I really don't like Gold. I don't like Grisus. I don't like him as a character. He's very boring. And uh, yeah, he's now, he's now had enough. And he is now running away. There we go. He is out of here. He's had enough. He's done. Will Greasus get away, though? That's the question. Because the rest of his army isn't having a good time, is it? Look at the... Just the ogre bodies littered all over the place. 
Greasus is down to 235 hit points. Now, he is still in range of the crossbows. Some of the gorges, of course, the gorges are unbreakable, which means they will just fight until the last. The rest of the spiders are going to hunt down any units that are fleeing. Obviously, we're going to try and wipe out as many as possible. Greasus is now being hunted by the incarnate of beasts. That's um, that's that's a bad time. He is, yeah, he's not fast enough to get away. He is that big tubby boy. He's going down if the incarnate ever manages to hit him. Oh, there we go. I will take the replenishment. I mean, I'm going to be honest, Greasus. He could have just left me. I'm, I, I just want to... I'm just trying to find some green skins to debone, I guess. Hello, Malekith. Oh, okay. I don't think that's necessarily the best idea for you. I might send you for a walk. Or I will in three turns, anyway. Uh... Oh yeah, we got what did we? Okay, smuggler, warhorse, good. They're dead, fine. Yeah, oh, where? All right, over there. That's that's not actually a big problem. Did I? Oh, there we go. The traits: income from trade tariff and income from more buildings. The local province. It's not the best trait, but I'll take it. Uh, let us go with that one and arcane Help conduit. Is always appreciated. Keep us ticking along. You are ticked, so I don't need to worry about you. You, on the other hand, are going to have... Uh, let's go with Merciless Attacker. Okay, let's go and kill you guys. Then we'll take this as well. I mean, I don't, again, I didn't really want it, but I'll have it. Traipsing through his lands. I mean, you know what? Greece is actually doing okay for himself. I mean, no with any luck, we'll find uh, Grimgore still alive. Okay, where is the nearest Dark Elf settlement? Now, the Temple of Adioth has some reasonable defenses, but we can go better. Did I make friends with you? Yes, I did. That is fortunate. Do I have... Hang on. What we got? Am I Am I not best friends with you? That is a surprise. I haven't built an outpost either. Fucking hell. What am I like? Shrine of Assyrian. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I kind of want it on the inside of... Um, I mean, we, we did all... Actually, we did... We did kill Thingy-Majig, didn't we? So if, I, if I've been at the Shrine of Assyrian, the Shrine of Assyrian is fairly safe. I'm not going to build a. I'm not going to build one for Gilgalian because he's probably going to get confederated fairly quickly. So I don't think there's much point. Are you? you have the answers, I see. Are you? Are you mm, well, no, that's, that's, actually, that's getting better. I mean, I guess that's because you're at war with Thingy-Majig. So you know what? Good Let's do that and see if you can make friends with um, with Tyrion. We can all be friends, and also we get a new a new trinkety thing, don't we? Because we got got the old the old bone boys. Ammunition. I mean, ammunition. Oh, so we get re so bones are like missile range. Oh, oh, I see. They're all like associated with. So that's like speed and movements. That is spells, I guess. Resistances. That's defense, armor, that kind of thing. That's attack. And then this is like psychology, leadership. Okay, that, that does make sense. Holy shit, they, ju they have minus 24 melee attack, melee, atta melee defense and accuracy. Along with less speed and ammunition. That's um that's that's pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. That is 
What does Agony Succession do? Oh, it deals damage. Okay, yeah, sure. Yep, we'll do all of that good stuff. I mean, at this point, we've got more Spirit Essence that we can spend. And we... I mean, I could spend it on... Do we still have... We still have this for the moment. I don't really want it. Is this giving us control? It is. If I go with... I don't know. That one. Let's go with that one. Oh, I, I guess... I, can I use it on any... If I get this... Oh, it has to be me. I was wondering if I could like use it on anyone, so I could like just remove the um the corruption from like the chaos waste or something, which would be quite fun. Okay, I'm, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna head to Caron Car. Sorry, Clark Carond. I mean, they all sound basically the same. Try try getting some more fucking vowels in your cities, Dark Elves. Maybe that would help you, eh? Use this twice. My rule is absolute. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far. I need to give you some better armor. Um, do we have any more smugglers? We got a bailiff. That's not the worst thing to have. I could fuse. Oh, Massimo's pride is pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna give that to you. I'm going to give you Master Moon's Pride, because that does give you... I mean, it's basically Obsidian Blade with slightly less weapon strength. Um, but also has Wind Blast. So if anything, Master Moon's Pride is probably better. Um, but to be, these two weapons are better than quite a lot. I mean, the Silver Dagger gives you 25 base weapon damage and 25 armor piercing damage. You might go, well, that, that sounds pretty good, but it's nowhere near 100 armor piercing. So you may as well just have that. That... This, these are better than that one. That's just that's just a given. They're just better. The balancing for items in this game is all over the fucking place. So we'll go for Clark Arond, Clean that out. Uh, you are getting defences, which is good. Probably want defences here as well. Does this give public order to adjacent? No, of course it doesn't. That'd be too. That'd be too easy. I, I swear the, the public order for Kislev is dog shit. So bad. Our building income is 8k. And we're almost making three from trade. How many provinces have we got? One. That's. So one, two, three, four. Five, like five provinces we're making. I want to say about two armies worth of, of income just from buildings. What? I mean, I get that. I get that Total War is not a particularly. I, I get that Total War is not a particularly difficult game. Um, I think personally, I never play on Legendary because I think that just makes it less fun. In fact, uh, a bunch of content creators um, I've talked to have also said the same thing. Like they play on Legendary because it's kind of expected of them, but they actually think that it makes the game less fun. To which I'm like, well, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> a peace treaty. You know what? I will take that because I'm not actually that bothered with killing you. I might even give your settlements back because I don't actually want them. Um, I'm just going to be traipsing through your land, so, uh, you know, you better basically put up with that bullshit. We could be friends if you like. Granny's not mean. She just knows what she wants. Oh, talking of what she wants. Hello, Kolek. Okay, let's have a, let's have a chat with you, right? Okay. Right. Do you want that one? And that. Oh, I can only give you one at a time. Do you want that one? That's how you do. do you want um, the Haunted Forest? Oh, you don't. <laughs> do you want. I'm going to tenderize you before I eat that. Oh, we know that's just not true. Come on. Really? You don't want the Valley of Horns back? Pretty smart. Um, for what? I know I'm old, but fuck me. Okay, if we do that, I mean, that's not really going to help anything, is it? I was hoping maybe we could get, like, a, a treaty or something, but I suspect he's probably just going to be a right 
All right, shitty bastards. I don't think we're going to find any green skins up here. We're going to have to head into the mountains. So what we do, we'll, we'll, we'll cross the, the dark lands, kick the shit out of anyone we find, and then head into the um, the Wild Edge Mountains and uh, kill, kill us some green skins, I think is probably how we're going to play that. I don't want an outpost because Gilgalia is just a waste of money. Gilgalian will, will confederate with someone and uh, I won't have any money, so fuck that. Okay, two more turns and we can... As soon as I see Malekith, Malekith is getting sent to Cathay for funsies. I genuinely don't know how long, long it's going to... I don't know which way they'd go. Would they sail all the way around or would they march through... I don't know. I haven't seen any Dark Elves heading this way, so... I don't know where that army went. I would love to... I would love to... I would love to know what, what they're doing. I would love to know... Where those guys are actually... Right now. Dogma, rationality. Oh, I'll go with rationality. Hello? Oh, you don't even have a decent army, Malekith. That's bullshit. Come on. You can do better than that. Telsian's going to, uh, to do you owe. I don't even need any trinkets for this. Don't need any blessings. Oh, I've got banners. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, I guess. Yeah. In spite of our incredible missile power, uh, Malekith is actually weathering this much better than I thought he should be able to. Crossbow's already opening up. They're just targeting him. Um, he's going to get a breath attack. Oh, that stings. Motherfucker. Right, well, die horribly, please. He is going down. He's going down. He's going down. He's actually going to attack the frozen heart of winter, the big bear. The big bear is... Oh, his stats are fine. Pretty much on par with Malekith, generally. I and mean, Malekith is slightly better, but Malekith is significantly more dead. So, uh, there we go. The things in the wood racing past the crossbows and now just mauling the Dark Shards and basically any other unit of Dark Elves that gets in our way. He's in the heart of winter on Malekith, which means he's about to go... De he's dead. He's dead. Well, I guess death may be preferable to being, you know thrown to cafe and having to walk all the way home. That would kind of suck. I mean, there's still time. I mean, the only problem with sending Dark Elves all the way to Cathay is, um, one day I'm gonna have a very bedraggled, angry looking horde of emos turn up on my shore looking for vengeance, but um, that's a future Monsters of Power problem. Right, let's bop you, and then we'll go and take... Oh, we got friend Telsian's Frenzied! Oh, he's an angry boy. He is an angry boy. I'm gonna make you hard to hit. Yeah! Yeah. Good. Okay, you can get Flock of Doom. You can get a... Mm, ice, ice Sheet is just um, good when when mixed with the old crossbows, isn't it? Born from the saddle. Mixed with the old crossbows. Yeah, right, Kolek. Are you at war with... Um, you are at war with... Tell you, tell you what, Greasus. Problem. Problems go into my... If I declare, will you chill the fuck out? Pretty smart for a man. I'm not. I'm just old. I just look like a prune. It's hard to tell. I realise. Okay, Kolek. Time to get fucked, mate. Less speed. What's that one do? Less missile strength. Uh, less ammunition. We don't have any ammunition. I do like the idea of you having fuck all... Well, hmm, it's not really going to... Well, hmm. What I want is like something that reduces your melee resistance. Whiff of agony. Um, okay, I'm going to slap that on you. 
Uh, do we have anything which is going to give us more? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Oh, on you. There we go. Unburdened stone. Well, okay, we'll put that on you guys. And that can go on you guys. And I guess that can go on you. I don't know there's any point giving you Whiff of Madness. That's the only... That's the only slight issue. I guess giving you less melee attack and defense wouldn't be the worst thing. And those guys... Yeah, okay. I mean, Kolek is very much a target of opportunity here, because, uh... I mean, normally Kolek dies. It's nice to see him doing, you know, reasonably well for himself. Ooh, Mirror Guard having a bad time. They've got Silver Shields, and they're still having a bad time. Curse of Anra here doesn't help either, because their speed is reduced to 24, which is going to be plenty of time to shoot them. Meanwhile, the Seventh Claw over here, now these guys are usually an absolute nightmare. To do. They've got double Curse of Anra here. Does that... Apparently, they can... Um, they're moving at a speed of 15. Apparently, they can be double Curse of Anra here. Wow. That's, uh... That's interesting. Yeah, they're having a bad time. On our flank, we've got the spiders and our things in the woods. I was going to try and get the Incarnate to actually fight. Fight Kolek. I don't know how well he'd do against Kolek. I mean, if anything, his stats are actually kind of on par. He doesn't have the armor. But otherwise, his stats are pretty much on par. So, unfortunately, Kolek is going for it. He's going for it. Uh oh. Run! Okay, we got we got the spiders. We got the spiders. He's been debuffed. He's only got 30 melee defense. That's still quite a lot. Managed to pin down quite a few of the uh, enemy units, the monstrous units, things like the chaos spawn and the dragon ogres in the center. They're getting uh, nibbled away by the crossbows and the spiders, of course, who have that poison attack, which is quite nice. Talking of spiders, they are numbing their way through these Forsaken. Chaos Spawn, I need to get the Incarnate over here. The things in the wood are doing always... I mean, the things in the wood always do very well. Kolek, though, having a bad time because uh, he is being filled full of crossbow bolts. Ooh, that is rough. Kolek is... He is... Oh, he might get away. He might get away. You never know. You never know your luck. In fairness, I don't think this is how that battle turned out. I think there might have been a desync somewhere. I'm fairly sure Kolek ran off this way, not this way. So this battle is not occurring as it did. It's a bit weird. I mean, the bats definitely ate the Swords of Chaos, which I thought was fucking hilarious, because the Swords of Chaos, of course, are Archaeon's elite bodyguard. Imagine being eaten by, by bats. Being eaten by vampire bats. Yeah, you can see all my ambushes now chasing off Kolek, because they did actually manage to kill Kolek. And now they're not in the right place. I mean, it's fine. It looks like we're going to win the battle anyway. I think Kolek just ran in the wrong direction for some reason, which is a bit weird. Never mind. The important thing is, Kolek's dead and we won. Okay, uh, do I want the replenishment? Yeah, I probably do. Uh, okay, let's kill you. Do not disappoint us, Troops. Then I will resettle this, so I have somewhere to replenish. And we've got a new trinket as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got almost all the trinkets now. Which one did we get? It's not the dwarves. It was... a Gorhorn? Was that the one? Maybe. I can't remember. Does, does it tell us, or does it just go, you've got a new one? Just as you've got a new one. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we liked the rat one, didn't we? We liked the rat one. 
us and loss. Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Yeah, that one. That one. That one. How much does that to be spent? We, okay, we can spend 30 a turn now. I mean, it's still... It's still not a huge amount, is it? I'm just gonna do that to spend some more. We've got one more turn until we can we can jump around. But to be honest, I mean, what we want to do is... Oh, I guess Grimgore's dead. That's a shame. All right. We're going to go across the Darklands. Maybe hit the Vale of Woe along the way. Get, get, some, get some Dark Elf. Not Dark Elf. Chaos Dwarf. That's the one. Get some Chaos Dwarf stuff on. Forest purity. Ah, go on then. Go on then. Loyalty. I mean, yeah, all right. Merciless attacker. Something like that. Do you get your little um? Gab yeah, there we go. Gabriella. Character experience per turn. Okay, fine. No, you just you just stay there. Can I unequip you and put you on someone else? I guess I could. I don't really see the point. I'm just going to give you an Obsidian Blade because it's better than what you've got. To be honest. Obsidian Blade is just better. Your ticks don't need to worry about you. Fine. We know where we're going. And then little Telsian is going to start beating up some Dark Owls. Oh, I don't know what to do about Master Monday. Okay, so I mm, I could start cozying up. The so the, these guys, I could cozy up. I could cozy up to Yumbo and also Marcus, who are currently fighting oh, Mazda Mundi. So I could team up with those guys, or I could team up with Mazda Mundi. So that, I think that's going to be the poll for next time. Are we team Frog or are we team li Lizard Man? That, no, wait, that's that that just sounds confusing. Are we t <laughs> are we team frog or are we team dragon? Fr frog or dragon? That's that's gonna be the poll for next time. Perfect. Got there in the end. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.